Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Saturday, April 16th, and I'm currently prepping for our Easter party. And there's still a lot of things left to do, but I wanted to show you guys a few quick things. First, I wanted to show you this yummy low carb dish that I created for myself. It's a beautiful dish too. I'll put like what it looks like here. I'll insert it here. And I'm currently making cupcakes for the kids. And finally, I can make cupcakes for the kids and not feel tempted like I want to eat them. Also, also I wanted to show you guys these Easter eggs. This is what I'm about to do now. Um, so we decided that, like we ordered these from Amazon. So there's 72 eggs inside. So for our kids, like for our boys, not our daughter, she's a little too old for Easter egg hunt. But for our boys and the nieces and nephews, they'll have an egg hunt. Like, aren't these so cute? Like, they're so, they're really pretty. And then they also included a few of the gold. There's some gold ones in here. So, what we're gonna do is each egg like this will be worth one dollar and then each egg like this these will be worth five dollars and then we also have a golden golden egg which is green but use your imagination a golden egg and this is going to be worth 25 dollars yeah i just wanted to show you guys this part real quickly before we get it all set up so i'm gonna have the boys put the dollar value like one inside of all of these it gives them something to do <laughs> and um the five dollar like i mentioned inside of this like on a piece of paper so that once the kids do the egg hunt they take all of your slips of paper and then bring it in and then that's the cash amount that they get so it should be a lot of fun i'll be sure to share that with you guys as well so i'm gonna go ahead and finish preparing by the time I pop back in, I'll probably just show you guys like everything that I did. I started cooking, not cooking, but like making the chicken salad and everything last night. Um, Well, it wasn't last night. It was like three or four this morning. But because I was in such a hurry, I didn't film everything. But I'll try to film a few things as I'm prepping today. But we've got a house full. House is really noisy and loud today. But I'll show you guys as much as I can. Talk to you soon. You guys, so in this clip, I am actually cutting the crust off of the bread to make these little, you know, little cute little tea sandwiches. However, when I was doing this, I realized like this is the first time in my life that I have ever cut the crust off of bread. Like that felt so wasteful. So I did have to do a little mindset shift in that. Um, I do want to add though that we didn't just throw the crust away. We have ducks and the ducks actually enjoyed the bread um crust and then yeah so we had like white bread and some wheat bread and keep in mind this is all for my family like i don't eat bread and i also didn't eat any other sandwiches um at the party but i did eat a lot of other things like i showed you guys that tray so i definitely had a lot of sodium over easter weekend and your girl was just eating and happy and yeah i definitely gained weight over Easter weekend, but I'll be sure to include the way in towards the end of this video. All right, guys, as you can see, got the table spread for our first tea. Remember, this is my first time. I'm sure that I don't have everything done properly with the right etiquette, but I'm getting there. You gotta practice and start at some point. Thing I did get correct though was sandwiches at the bottom, then the croissants and then dessert so i know that part if nothing else and we've got some more drinks that i'll bring out a little bit later but this is the adult table and i'll share with you the kids table that my boys helped me put together here is the kids table that my boys helped me put together my daughter cleaned the porch and same thing, they have their sandwiches on the bottom, then their croissants, and then their desserts. And they have their chargers, but then this is plasticware. So cute, very cute, we're excited. We're gonna have a good time today. hunt the eggs are already out there take your walmart bag every egg that you collect is worth one dollar okay every multicolor egg is one dollar 
every gold egg, there's six gold eggs, is worth five dollars. Now this egg, this is the golden egg. I know this green, but let's pretend. <laughs> this egg is worth twenty-five dollars. All right. So Uncle Lewis is gonna go hide the egg. All right, let's go. Go, go, go. Another one. Oh, she got it. She don't need help. Keep going. You got it. Keep going. You got it, Camis. Oh, y'all not looking. Hurry up, guys. Camis, you're racking up over here. Camis, Camis. Camis. Oh, I see a golden egg. You got a golden one. Oh, go, Camise. Good job, Camise. Come here. I'm a golden egg. Wait, where was it? There. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. He was on top of it. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> All right, guys, they're getting ready to cash out their eggs. Come on. How many you got? Five. Oh, you got two. Camille's got two five dollars. Let me bring the camera down because you are not that tall. <laughs> I wonder if you got the most outside of the golden egg. Because you got two of these, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. She did. Wow. You did very well. So you got five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Camise, you still going? What? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22! Good job! 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, how many did I say? 22. Oh, 21, 22. Nice job, Camise. Woo! Money, money. Wait, these are RJ. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Did you get a golden egg? You did? You got two golden eggs? All right. Hi. <laughs> you got 23. Oh. 23. Nice job. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Next. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And when people count your money, you look. Don't turn your head. I could have cheated right. you. Congratulations. <laughs> you have an idea how many? 20, oh, here, Markel, say hi. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Nice job. Is that what you got? 21? Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Nice job. Who's next? Do you know how many you have? Say hi. Whoa. 9, 10, 11, 12. Did I miss one? Okay, 12. 10, 11, 12. Nice job. All right. And the golden egg winner. Can you say hi? Hello. How much is that worth? $25. Oh, wow. 28, 29, 31, 2, 3, 4, 34. Wow. Good job. Yay. Good job. 10, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
two, three, and four. Nice job. Nice nice job. job. Who's fun? <laughs> There's my mom. My sister, come on. There's my sister. You guys already know Brooklyn. Hi. <laughs> and my auntie. Hold on, let's see if she'll be in the film. I only film my family when they're okay with it. You wanna say hi to my friends? <laughs> Hey guys, so it is currently 6.15. I just woke up from a nap. I would say the party turned out to be a success. Everyone had a great time. I had a great time. And I just woke up and my husband's cleaning the kitchen. So I'm gonna eat some chicken salad and Triscuits. And I think I'm going back to bed. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Oh, and I'm also eating some veggies. But I've been eating a lot today. A lot of chicken salad, tuna. A lot of chicken salad, a lot of tuna salad. And my belly is like swollen, but I wanna eat some more. And then tomorrow I'll just get back on track again. Okay guys, I think this is a great time in the video to go ahead and do this week's weigh-in. So this is the weigh-in for week 45 on this 100 pound weight loss journey. This is following Easter um, Sunday. So I weighed in at 226.2. And if you guys can recall last week, I weighed in at 222.0. So this is definitely a gain of 4.2 pounds. Um, I probably should be a little bit more concerned than I am, but I'm not. I think it definitely had to do with a lot of increased sodium and definitely increased calories. And I also rested a lot. So, yeah, um, I don't think I reached my goal of 220 by the end of April, but I definitely think I should be able to hit it by the first or second week in May. So, yeah. You know, sometimes things happen and do I feel bad about this? Not at all. Maybe I should, but this is not the way that I typically eat. And it just felt really good to be able to, you know, just eat what I want. I definitely did not eat any sugar or flour because those are things that I stay away from. But I definitely had some increased sodium with the chicken salad, tuna salad, the processed meats, pickles, all of that good stuff, olives. So yeah, cheese, you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style video with myself and my family. The following day we went to church and after that the rest of the day was pretty relaxing for us. Um, Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!